Hey everybody, welcome back. We are going to talk about what sold this week, what already shipped out, what's already been processed, what's already been paid for, all of that. I was able to list and get a whole bunch of stuff posted. So um, anyway, I got everything that I wanted listed and posted and up uh, for sale on in my eBay store. And so we are going to get started on uh, what sold this week. All right, day late, but we're gonna get it done. Okay. We sold this week, we had bought these Pier 1 import plates. I saw them, thought they were super, super cute. They were the, like the Animal Farm Collection set of four. I think I paid like $2.99 a piece for them at Goodwill. They sold for $29.95. Super cute. Really, really cute. Really festive. Lots of colors. Yeah, really cute. So if you see those, and if you can get them for a decent price, I think at $2.99 I was maybe pushing it a little bit. I like to normally get my stuff a little bit cheaper than that, but we've had these for a while, so we had only um, been doing this maybe a month or two whenever I had picked these up. I've learned a lot since then. I try not to spend that much on items that I'm not 100% sure what they're going to sell at or what the price point is going to be, so do keep that in mind whenever you're picking stuff. The closer, you know, to under a dollar, around a dollar you can be, the better it's gonna be for you and your pocketbook. Next is gonna be these vintage snowflakes. Okay, so I have a story with this. We had purchased like this big lot at this garage sale. Giant lot, and when I say giant lot, it filled up the whole back of my Tahoe. Was complete, there was no room for anything else. And anyway, inside of one of those boxes was, it's like a candle, a Swedish candle, I don't know, it like turns, I don't know what they're called, some kind of candle opera thing, but it like turns whenever you put these little candles because of the heat, it makes the whole thing spin. Anyway, I digress. Inside of that box were these four vintage, um, like, snowflake hangers, I'm not really sure, but all of this, this whole lot that we purchased was from the late 90s, and so, in the early 2000s, so anyway, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, these are, these are old, because they're all in there together, anyway, so I was able to get those, um, clean them up a little bit, posted them, got them listed, they sold, so these were free, because they came in that lot in another box, and they sold for $7.00. Then we have, oh golly, do you guys remember me talking about this? That was, um, I think it was, the video was uh, Curb Alert. Y'all remember, right? Okay, so in the very beginning of that video, we'll talk about these little Lego pieces that we picked up at this garage sale where they had it listed, or not listed, they had it by the side of the road, free, take it, we picked it up. Anyway, it sold, it sold. Um, not for the 19 like we were asking, but it did sell for 13 and it was for free. So, there it is. Super cute, but it was free. <laughs> so remember, you be making some money here when it's free. All right, next, Notorious VIG shirt. Picked it up at, um, I want to say, a Goodwill in Nebraska. Picked it up for $2.50, and it sold this week for $14.95. Next is Vintage Metrolite Phone. This is vintage, straight up vintage. It is from the 80s. We picked it up for a dollar. It sold for $35.95, buyer paid shipping. You know, when I was a kid, I always wanted one of those phones. I don't think that I ever got one of those phones. What I did have was a Garfield phone, and I got that Garfield phone for Christmas, and dang it, I wish I would have kept that little sucker. It was really, really cute. Next up is gonna be this Jansport backpack. Got it at Goodwill for $3.99. Uh, this backpack sold for $16 buyer paid shipping. Now, this next one kind of took me by surprise because I wasn't expecting it to sell for what it did. My husband picked this up. He had gone to uh, the bins in, uh, where was, when did he go? I want to say he went maybe a month and a half ago to this particular one and I want to say it's when he was traveling. Anyway, so um, he picked this up 
and because it's a you know when you go to the bins they charge you by the pound and he had he brought home like bags and bags and bags of stuff so by our calculations he paid maybe 50 cents for this video set it's called the truth project and it sold this week for 69 dollars and 95 cents yeah and we're in for 50 cents <laughs> it's crazy right yeah I mean it's just nuts it's just crazy so if you're looking for a little side hustle job the whole eBay thing is totally totally something that I would recommend doing even if you're wanting to do it uh, full-time I know a ton of people that do this full-time and they make a ton of money doing this full-time I just do it part-time and it's just kind of evolving into something a little bit more and I'm having to kind of grow along with it so that may be something that you want to do too. I just kind of wanted to get my feet wet at first and kind of see how I was liking it. Been doing this now for a little over six months and I am still enjoying it up a lot. So we'll see where I am in a year. Okay, so next up is going to be the Live Strong Mug. Anyway, an offer came in for $6. We took it and uh, it got shipped off this week. I was glad to see it go. <laughs> next is going to be Harmony House. Uh, it's like a little ceramic set really really cute I actually thought about keeping it for myself because it did, did blah, 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 I can't talk because it did match the decor that I have in my house and the colors that I have however I decided at the last minute that I was just gonna go ahead and sell it anyway and now I wish that I would have just kept it for myself but okay so I paid I want to say about $1.99 per piece on this it's a two-piece set so let's say I'm in for four dollars and it sold this week for twelve dollars and the buyer paid shipping but so cute guys I wish I would have kept it for myself so cute for 12 bucks heck yeah I wish I would kept it cute 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 next is gonna be this Alfred uh, Alfred Hitchcock haunted mirror yeah Alfred Hitchcock Mount um, haunted mirror it was a book now at this estate sale that I happened to go to where I found this book it was late in the day and the lady was doing 50% uh, off all of her books they were only 50 cents and 25 cents each and so this particular one was 25 cents. I got it for, you know, half of that. So like 12 cents, something like that. And it sold this week for $8. So just because you see a book and you think, ah, it, nobody wants that book. Nobody's going to pay me for it. Doesn't mean that somebody out there isn't looking for that book. So do keep that in mind. Next is going to be the Dolls of the World. This one is a little porcelain doll. She's a little Indian, American Indian. And she has her little bow and arrow. Super cute. I found this and thought, man, she is just going to, you know, jet out of here. She'll just sell so fast. And that's not what happened at all. We actually had her for quite a while. We paid $3.99 for her. She sold for $18. Buyer paid shipping. Now, we did accept an offer on her. That's not um, what we had originally had her listed for. And I think we came off, you know, over $5. But we got her sold and we've had her a while. So it was worth it to kind of move product out the door. Next is going to be this Buried Blueprints for Kids puzzle. We picked these up, and we picked up several of them. We picked them up at this garage sale for a dollar a piece. They were all um, still sealed in the box. And so, anyway, we picked them up for a buck. This one sold for $15, buyer paid shipping. Now, we have talked about this before, that um, different games sell for you know really really good money and other games not so much now here's one that I had heard sells for really really good money but what I'm finding is that it's not that it sells for really good money it's that it flips really really fast so it's something that if you have it will continually just cha ching cha ching cha ching on your phone all day long just sell and sell and sell and sell so it's a consistent seller so if you happen to see this game is the Racco game be sure that you do pick it up um, let me see. Pick that one up for $2.95. It sold for $15, and we did accept an offer on that one. Now, are y'all ready for this? All right, guys. So, another magazine sold. Um, like you guys know from our previous video, bought it for $0.50, cents and it sold this week for $15.00. And um, that's all I'm going to say about it. That is what sold this week.
like. If you enjoy this kind of content, going over kind of what we sell on eBay, what we pick up at Goodwill, what we like to pick up at thrift stores, be sure that you subscribe, comment, and like this video. It sure does help me out. And if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, please uh, comment, post them. I love to read them. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.